that? How about that? Can you okay? Can you put here? Okay, can you up your camera? Okay, it's here. It's okay. Uh, can you put a little bit more camera up? Mm -hmm. yeah. Sorry, it's okay. Uh, well, let me see again. I don't know why it's, it's not appearing to me. Yes, no is okay. Uh, you see everything? Uh, yes, Hojam, it's fine. But just little bit, can you up your uh, camera, Hojam? I am doing it, but this is the... Maximum. Okay, okay. Now it's okay? Okay. No, no, please tell me because I can, uh, I can, I can focus. It's okay? It's okay, Hojam. Okay. So then, uh, so now we can just start. So, hi everybody, how are you doing? How is your feeling uh, in, in the, on the eve of New Year? Is it okay? We hope this. Yes, Ojam, we are good. We hope this yeah, COVID nineteen will finish. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So then, uh, so the, the the more or less the situation will be under control. Something around uh, in the end of March or in the beginning of April, and uh, then uh, let's just uh, start the our lecture. Last time, uh, so I I try to uh, uh, I try to speak. Uh, the how we are mathematician uh, or, the, or the, the, the people from fundamental science trying to understand. Do you see the, this is the red line what I am doing? Red yes, red we can see this. Here. Yes. Yeah, very good. So then, uh, last time, so they very well work with the biologists or with the, chem the people from chemistry. So they, they usually they are, uh, they know what's going on. And so they are considering the reaction. And then, uh, so what, what they, uh, they didn't know exactly, or if they exactly, but they will never give you, so that this is the, the reaction rate. Right? So that the K1 and K minus one, K2, so this is, uh, if you have a, such a kind of the chemical reaction, so they are calling the reaction rate. And then, so they, they uh, this is, in, because if, uh, if uh, uh, last, uh, in last lecture I explained you, if you have a, such a ke the chemical reaction, the, the correspond to this chemical reaction corresponds this uh, equation, the ordinary differential uh, equation, which consists of the of four unknown component, S, E0, E1, and P. So that, uh, so that means uh, this uh, kind of uh, uh, a chemical reaction <laughs> can be translated. This is uh, the people doing uh, in the chemistry, so that they in experiment. So they are doing experiments, and they have uh, the special ingredients to <laughs> determine this is the This is called the reaction rates. They are constants, and then uh, so they, they they inform you from the uh, experiment from the laboratory coming to you. If you are physicist or biophysicist or the biomathematician, and then they uh, tell you that they observe such a kind of the uh, equation, and then you are translated this to the uh, equation. From mathematical viewpoint, uh, uh, in the past, so that uh, we always thought that k1, uh, that this k minus one, that these are a constant or could depend on time, so it doesn't matter in our cases now. So they are constant. And we know that uh, we are always assume that these constants are uh, are given. So they give it, and uh, we know the information on that. And then we make the, our analysis and a lot of things, uh, assuming that we we, we know uh, all of this. Uh, now uh, you remember that uh, depending on the knowledge, uh, I will come to, uh, to this equation again. 
uh, in a COVID model, we, uh, in, in our last lectures, we have a, a, a two, uh, two dimensional system. It was the, uh, the health and uh, the infected individual, indivi individuals. And we, we uh, <coughs> uh, change the parameter, we will uh, always switch from the, uh, the disappearing of the, uh, the COVID from the 100 days or 200 days for 78 days. That means, so the, it's very crucial to know if, if you would like to predict something, it's very imp uh, important to uh, uh, have uh, the knowledge of this uh, uh, constants, which is called the reaction rate. Again, in, uh, uh, from the, uh, the mathematical viewpoint, from the, uh, so that if we are solving this equation, uh, this is a differential equation, this is ordinary differential equations, uh, systems uh, with unknown S, E0, E1, uh, and P, so the, which is correspond with the chemical reaction, we always assume that. But, but, uh, but this is the, we always assume that the, the, this constant argument. In actually, so to, the, it's a big deal and it's, uh, it's, it's conjugated with a lot of money. A lot of money experimentally determine this the constants again. This is a very crucial if you would like to uh, in the future work in in industry or if you would like to work in science. Uh, you should not uh, if you uh, if you have a, this equation, if, uh, uh, this uh, chemical reaction, and if you if you write this uh, the uh, corresponds uh, corresponding ordinary differential system. Uh, you should always uh, think that, uh, so these, for example, they are constant, but it's, it's, uh, you will, uh, uh, you should not expect that, so that this, the, the value uh, will be given the freely or the friendly from the industry, because to, uh, as soon as you know the, the, the mm, experimental data uh, on this, then you can say a lot of things, you can predict, uh, and then uh, how many substrate uh, or how many uh, uh, extracellular food uh, you have, and then you will adjust, uh, then uh, you will have the product. And uh, for example, as you know, in the, in, the, in the chemical industry or in pharmaceutical industry, for example, now we are dealing with vaccine, and the, 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 to obtain the vaccine, uh, you have to some initial uh, uh, object and you have the product. And then there is something uh, between uh, having uh, the uh, reactions to the people uh, the, the, uh, in the pharmaceutical industry. So that this is also with such a kind of the uh, information, such a kind of the reaction. And then we have seen uh, in our, uh, the model uh, in, uh, in COVID model, which I presented the uh, uh, last lecture. So that means that uh, uh, changing, if we, we have seen that having the information on the coefficients of the, the COVID-19 uh, 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 equations, we have this equation, and then, uh, uh, then we can uh, predict that it will be after 100 day or after 200 day, uh, we, can, we can predict more precisely. So then what will be happen? So that the, if, you, if you are dealing with this uh, reaction, then, then if you will know K1, K minus one, K2, uh, the, the, the numerical values, then you can say a lot of uh, information as the how the, the, the from the, uh, I would say the substrate, I will explain what is that, from the extracellular food, uh, if you want, to come to uh, the, uh, the product. And, then uh, this, uh, this, the coefficients in the chemical reactions uh, are determined experimentally and this is conjugated with a lot of money. Uh, therefore, uh, you will uh, never freely receive from the chemical, uh, the firms, uh, the big, uh, the, the chemical giant, uh, such a uh, values. So they are uh, in some sense secret. And this is the one point uh, which uh, we discussed uh, uh, later and then the second point is that uh, so if you are writing this equation, the, this chemical uh, reaction, this chemical reaction is called endothermic endothermic reaction in the in the in, in a sense of the uh, 
and the chemical uh, uh, knowledge of the chemical uh, subject. And the turbine means that uh, the, we fix the temperature. In, in reality, they, they have, you have the endothermic and exothermic chemical reaction. Endothermic means that the constant, uh, the temperature is constant. And exothermic means that this, uh, this, this constant, uh, they depends on the temperature. Right? And, and, and then it's always, uh, it, it will be interesting to, to know how they are changing uh, of the temperature. But we are considering uh, in this and the endothermic uh, reaction, the mostly in the room temperature, if you want. And then, um, and then we will write uh, these uh, reactions uh, and then thinking that K1, K minus one and K2, they are, uh, we have a, uh, we, we know this uh, on this again. So that uh, this equation uh, now we, in the last lectures, we, uh, we discussed this, uh, this, uh, this chemical reaction. And I say that this chemical reaction can be determined in terms of enzyme dynamics. Uh, and then, uh, what does it mean, enzyme dynamics? Enzyme dynamics means the. Uh, uh, so now I will I will uh, I will uh, say that what does it mean this reaction uh, in in molecular dynamics or the in the enzyme dynamics? Uh, the first of all, if you are saying something, you have to define what is uh, or what is the enzyme. Enzyme. So then, uh, if uh, enzyme is a the protein, enzyme is a molecule. So the, please, uh, uh, you uh, should uh, know that such a kind of, uh, again, uh, uh, in, in the final exam, in the final exam, I, uh, I will write uh, some uh, uh, similar type of chemical reactions, similar type, and I will, uh, I will ask you, I will ask you to uh, write corresponding equation. So I will give you some, uh, the, but not exactly this, but the other chemical reaction. And I, I will ask you to write a corresponding the ODEs and, uh, and uh, uh, try, to, mm, uh, try to study the stability of uh, corresponding steady states. I, I will come to the steady states in the, uh, in the, in the next lecture, of the, uh, which we will start in, in, in new years. But uh, again, so then, um, so this is the, this subject is will be very important uh, for your final exam. So that you will have some chemical reaction. You have to write uh, the corresponding ODEs, study the equilibria or the, some people saying the steady states, and uh, and also study the stability of the steady states. Now, uh, uh, writing this equation uh, for uh, for uh, this. Uh, the S E zero E one P and E zero. Uh, uh, now I would like to this uh, to speak with you uh, in terms uh, in terms of the enzyme dynamics. Again, the first of all, if I'm speaking enzyme, you have to know what is the enzyme. Again, enzyme in our case this will be E zero will be unbound enzyme. E one will be the the, the uh, if you if you want the the bound enzyme uh, in terms of the hour, or then in some, sometimes it's called uh, substrate, uh, substrate. I will define the, all of these things. I am saying that in, in this, uh, this reaction in terms of enzyme dynamics means the following. Here, S, S is a substrate. I will uh, give you now the, uh, the exact definition of what is the substrate. But this will be E0 will be such a kind of the unbound enzyme. Please write this because we have a time. I am giving you this information. You know, we have the S is the substrate. Uh, E0 is unbound uh, enzyme. So I am speaking in terms of the enzyme dynamics. You remember in the, the, our previous lecture, I considered this reaction in terms of the, the food uh, transportation or food transport from the uh, from the uh, the extracellular uh, food to the inside. So the uh, now I, it was the uh, I gave you uh, last time more uh, the uh, explicit uh, information that it, you, you you could understood it. Then S is what is something uh, extracellular uh, food and E zero was the 
some food, uh, some of the proteins which uh, uh, binds uh, to the receptors, and then this was the unbound, unbound uh, the receptors, uh, and this was the, the bound receptors, and this was the, the product. Now I would like to, uh, it, it was for you, uh, I, I did in this term, then you will see that what's going on now. Uh, we are doing the more deep and uh, deeper thing. We, we are trying to, uh, to, uh, to interpret uh, to these the chemical reactions in terms of the enzyme dynamics. And therefore, in, in terms of the enzyme dynamics, the S will be substrate. I will define what, what I mean by that. E0 will be unbound enzyme. E0, please write uh, unbound enzyme. E1 will be E, the, e, the E1, it will be a substrate enzyme uh, complex, but <laughs> it is called uh, substrate enzyme complex, and P will be the product. And now you see uh, in the end, uh, we, we have the E0, the unbound enzyme, and then we have the, in the end of, of the, the same E0. Huh? This is uh, you see that when I am uh, showing you this. Yes. Do you see that when I am showing this. Uh, the yes, I see. Color? Yes, Hojam, we can see your uh, uh, this then, laser light. We can see Hojam. Okay, very good. So that means that uh, so the, the how many how many is zero you have in the beginning of the reaction. So you, you will have in the end of the same amount. Therefore, now the, I'm giving the definition. Definition that the enzyme, the, uh, the enzyme or the unbound enzyme, uh, to remember, uh, uh, the enzyme is a protein. So there is a molecule. The protein is also the, 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 the some people say the, so protein, when we are speaking protein, this is a molecule. So the, the enzyme is a molecule which catalyzes the reaction. You see that enzyme which catalyze the reaction without uh, using, uh, uh, without using, uh, without using it in during the reaction. So if E0, this was a catalyst and it, it speed, uh, it, it speed up of the reaction. And if the, in the beginning was the 100 uh, protein on the membrane, they will uh, in the end of the, the same. So they, they are helping and they are speeding the reaction, but without using themselves. So that this is a very, a very important thing. Not all the uh, protein, not all the molecule having this nicer property. And, uh, and then the S is a substrate. Uh, S is a, the substrate is a protein. Substrate is a protein on which it acts the end, uh, which is uh, on which act, uh, act on enzymes. That means so you have the enzyme, some molecule, and they are acting. You see that they are meeting each other. Uh, last time uh, I explained it so that they are uh, act uh, the the substrate. So this is also a molecule, and then on which the enzyme acts. So they are coming together like uh, uh, I will uh, we will come up and then main mathematician from the, in your level, and knows that eigenvalue, if you have some matrix, you have the eigenvalue and eigenvector. So, so without one, then you cannot see, speak on, about others. Therefore, if you are speaking on some enzyme, you have to always think that there is a substrate on which uh, the, the enzyme acts. And then, so they are together coming to the, this, uh, which we call, enzyme sub, sub, uh, substrate enzyme or enzyme substrate depends on the uh, which kind of the order it doesn't matter the complex and then in the end of day we obtain we are coming to uh, to this uh, the product and of course uh, since the, the the enzyme from the beginning uh, doesn't uh, uh, appears it uh, doesn't disappear so therefore we have uh, this and then uh, I, I explained you last time why and how you can define uh, uh, how you can uh, transform uh, this the chemical reaction to this equation and if you are a mathematician now you are happy because you have the ODE system ODE and uh, then 
feature of the of this ODE is was the following. So this is a four-dimensional ODE. Why four dimensional? Because we have one, two, three, four. We have a three and we have a four unknown. Unknown. But due to feature, due to feature that uh, from the beginning, how many molecules you have, and in the end of the, uh, you have the same molecule because this is the enzyme. Enzyme is a again Hello. enzyme is a protein Hello. or the molecule which uh, catalyzes uh, speed up the reaction and without using themselves uh, during the reaction. So that how many was in the beginning and it will be the same yeah. in the end. And therefore this this scheme leads to this equation and this equation has a very nice property uh, which is not all uh, ODEs or all reaction and all ODEs have. So we have a, the four dimensional but this four dimensional uh, so this is I am coming again and again to this because in the final exam you will have a this similar setting. So, so the, the four dimensional systems is a difficult to solve than three dimensional. So this is a very nice, very natural. If uh, the three three dimensional is difficult than two. Two is a difficult than one. So that means if you at least if you will reduce the number of the reaction or the number of the equation. So from four to three, from ten to the one, and from ten to the eight, and it depends. Then you are very happy. Yeah. And because uh, in order to reduce the number, uh, then you have to see that uh, what kind of the uh, conservation quantity your equation has. Uh, this equation, uh, your, this chemical reaction, uh, uh, obey this differential equation, and then. If you add, uh, last time we have seen, if you uh, take E0 and E1, if you add these two equations, now, now I would like to show that the, in, in, in spite of we having a four-dimensional equation, four-dimensional, but it can be reduced to the two, to the, to the this, which is a, a huge advantage because instead of to find uh, the four unknown S, E0, E1, and P, uh, it will be enough to find S and E1. So if you will find, uh, if you will solve this, then you can, uh, you can, uh, so here you have the only S and E1. If you, uh, and this is the equation for S and E1, uh, which is coming from this equation. And if you do, if you know S and E1, then uh, you can, uh, you can uh, extract information on E0 and P, right? Because if you know the E1 from this equation, then, then you have to solve this equation, the first order equation that uh, any, any student uh, yeah, uh, can solve is just integrating. If you integrate both sides, then you will have the, 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 the integral to be P of T minus initial P of zero, and then this integral from K to E1. And then, uh, since you know E1, you can compute the integral from that. That means you can easily find P. That means if you know E1, you can find uh, P. But if you come to the, uh, this, uh, as I said, if you know S and E1, which obey this equation, I will uh, explain you again why S and E1 obey this equation. And if you know the S and E1, you are looking to this equation, and you know S, you know E1, that means that then you, you have the, the one, one equation for uh, uh, one linear, uh, linear equation uh, for uh, uh, E0, because you know S, S you know e, E1, and then this is the equation for E0. This known, this uh, this known, this known, this known, then they only remain the zero, which obey the very simple uh, first order ODE. And again, by integrating, you can solve uh, this equation. Now, how, how this, uh, from this equation, we can come to that, to this equation? Why uh, we have the conservation of mass? 
So not all this equation has a conservation of the quantities, not all. But this, uh, due to the special feature of this equation, because we are dealing with substrate and enzyme, so because this coming from the beginning and disappears in the end, so this, uh, this kind of the enzyme dynamics, which is obey this chemical reaction, in the end of the day lead to the, this kind of, uh, uh, this kind of uh, the ordinary differential uh, uh, equation, a uh, system of ordinary differential equation. Now, look, as I said, if you add E0, E1, now I would like to show that this four-dimensional system will lead to the, this two-dimensional. Because we have on here only unknown S and E1. Why, uh, why this uh, will lead to this? This, uh, this in, in, in the final exam, I, I will write this. Uh, the, I will ask you the, the similar to, to make uh, such a kind of the uh, trick. Because this is the four dimensional. As I said, the, the two dimensional is much easier. And I will show you also if I will have a time today that how, uh, how why this is the very important. So, and uh, the four two dimensional system has a lot of advantages, a lot of advantages than three, four, and hundred. And then uh, I will show you why. But anyway, now let me just repeat again. The, uh, why I am repeating again? Uh, because uh, uh, today we have a couple of uh, the uh, new uh, new uh, new people. So then uh, they asked me to repeat again. And then, so now, now let's just look E0 and E1. This is to add, please add these two equations. If you add this and this, and then this, this will be equal to that. So the derivative of E0 and derivative of E1, and then the, the sum of the derivative is equal to that. The, if you add uh, 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 these two equations, left hand side come, uh, is equal to that. So derivative of E0 plus derivative of E1. But now if you add it to the right hand side, so then you see this is canceled with that if you add. This will cancel with that. And this will cancel with that. But if you add, then, then it will, the sum it will be zero. We know from the, uh, from the school that if derivative uh, is uh, equal zero, if the sum function has uh, derivative identical with zero for uh, any time t, then this, this must be constant. So we know that the constant, the derivative of constant is zero, but if you have the, and vice versa, if the, you have a sum function f of t, the derivative of uh, with respect to t is equal to zero, say from t, from the, the from the a, from this, uh, the r, so therefore all r or from the segment, so from some the uh, segment, so then this, this must be uh, constant. Then uh, from when you are adding this, you obtain, then that from here it's followed that the sum is a constant. The zero of t plus e one of t is a constant. If the, uh, so I will denote by this by e of t, just the sum I am uh, writing the uh, e of t, the e of t, and then that means the, uh, this means d e of t is equal to zero. That means e is a constant. The, I, am, uh, I am defining this constant by b, because this is, and then e zero uh, plus e one is equal to b. And if I know the e, e one, then e zero can be, is, will be equal to b, minus e1. The, uh, I do not, uh, since the sum is a constant, I do not this e of t by b, and then that means e0 of t plus e1 of t is equal b, b is a given because it's a constant, that, that means if I know e1, then uh, I know that I can easily, without solving, I don't need to solve this, uh, the, uh, I just, uh, <laughs> extract information from this e, uh, e0 of t is equal to b, which I know, minus e1 of t, so that I don't need to solve that. And the same is also, if I know e1, I can uh, define t, e, integrating by this simple uh, ODE. Therefore, uh, this equation, 
leads to the uh, uh, solving this equation. If you know S and if you know E1, but this can be derived uh, just putting instead of, of zero, E minus E1, you can just replace E zero by that. And then uh, where the where the E zero, you can just put uh, the, this quantity. And then this is already enough. If you know S E1, you can solve this. Now, this is a very nice, this is a very nice uh, two time, uh, two two dimensional uh, system, <coughs> and then uh, this, uh, as as I want to say, uh, this is uh, 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 this is the this give me uh, this uh, this give me also the interpretation of enzyme dynamics. So that if in the in the sense of enzyme dynamics, that the S is a substrate. Do you see that? Do you see this error? Yes, sir, John. Have it, or John. Substrate E0 is unbound enzyme, E1 is substrate enzyme complex, and P is a product. So, therefore, uh, then, uh, now, uh, now the, if, I will, if we will have this, such a kind of uh, quantities, and then in the exam, in the exam, final exam, I will give you such a kind of the, uh, the, the chemical reaction, and then I will ask to write to write uh, corresponding uh, the ODEs and to uh, uh, try to find conservative quantities and the reduced system. So reaction will be given. You will write this kind of uh, uh, the uh, ODEs, and then uh, I will ask you if it's possible to reduce this to uh, the, uh, to write the, the reduced equations. Reduce equations, that means you have to find a conservative quantity and then uh, where, for example, A0, you can just react, you have to apply and by its knowledge, uh, it's, its value via uh, E0, for example, B minus E1. Then you can just put here. In this equation, there are other, other, other the conservative quantity, namely P plus S plus E1. If you add P, E1 and S, the, the, if you S plus E1, it will be this, it will be disappear, and the K minus 1 will be disappears, uh, the, this, this one. So S plus E1, then it, it will remain only this. And then if you add to this to this, and then K1, then the day will disappear, then that means the other, other the conservative quantity, that means S plus E1 plus P. Because if you add this equation, if you add this equation, if you add this equation, then you will obtain that derivative of this quantity with respect to 3 is a zero. That means these guys is a constant. Yeah. And then it, it will be constant C. That means if you know S, if you know E1, then P will be equal, if you do not this sum by a constant C, then C minus S minus E1. That means, as soon as you know uh, S and E1, you can you can define uh, E0, this, without solving. And also you can define P without solving this, because the P is which will be C minus S minus E1. So this is fantastic. Now, why and uh, why is the uh, two-dimensional? What is the feature? Why this is two-dimensional? Uh, hello? You see me? Yes. Okay. And then, why is the such an important the two time uh, two dimensional system? Now, yeah, I would like to discuss uh, with you a little bit on it, and then uh, let me just uh, try to uh, to <coughs> the, uh, 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 these things. Mm -hmm. You see that uh, in your screen, linearized stability? No, Hojo. Okay. So then, so then, uh, uh, then I, will, I will try to explain you 
in the black court. No. Yes. Kochima, Kochima. But uh, but you can see uh, you can see only your whiteboard can see Hojo. Yeah, very good. Not, so that this not, is not the screen sharing. Yeah, very good, very good, very good. Uh, I like this uh, uh, very much. So then uh, now uh, I would like to show you that the advantages. Why, uh, why is uh, this, this two, two dimensional uh, uh, system? So we, we reduce this and why this is a very important. And uh, therefore it will give me chance to uh, move to the, uh, the other concept, which is called stability. And stability and then we will, uh, we will discuss on, on this stability issues and this will be uh, very important because uh, in physics in mechanics in, uh, in biology uh, you are always uh, uh, starting and thinking that the the process which you are trying for for example you did uh, you you made vaccination uh, then, uh, or uh, uh, so that you have some uh, treatment uh, for the, some disease, this uh, will be the, the, the health stage of the, the patient must be stable and then uh, this is such a kind of the stability argument uh, played a very important role. And the, now uh, I, will, I will define for you the, the, what is the stability and then you will see that what kind of the advantages uh, we will have uh, we will have uh, uh, dealing with two two dimensional uh, the audience if if uh, suddenly uh, the the my uh, lecture will be uh, stopped then uh, don't worry we will start uh, after five minutes right sometimes it's it's going through sometimes it, it's uh, you have to just uh, join me after five minutes if it's something that will be stuck. Now, now you see this part of the black book, right? You see that what I am writing? I have it Ojan. Yes, Ojan. It's readable. I have it Ojan. Okay. So now let's just consider the following, uh, following all, the, all these. That means so that uh, this is a, uh, this is a the vector notation of the say n type n uh, OD system. In other words, we have u one of t, so the vector u of t. So this notation means that we have the, the vectors u n of t. Uh, so vector consists of n components. So we have so this this notation means that we have the n component, right? And uh, then uh, and uh, so the, the the so and the u the u of the t so this notation I am writing for you this one. that means. We have the component wise du1 dt. So this notation on this, uh, that means we have the. Uh, this is just notation. Okay? Do you see that? Do you see that? Yes, Hojam, we can see, but it is blur. Okay. So, I will write the other one. So, so if you have a this, if you have a this, then uh, so the, the the this vector, so that the, if uh, the you uh, in, in in mathematics, if you have the, some uh, notation, then you are writing in this way: double point uh, and and equal. 
That means this is a definition. So this and this in the notation means no a definition. You see that sometimes in the literature you can see that. You can see this note, uh, this right? Can you see that? Every time. And then now the, I am giving the, the notation what that in the left hand side. So this will be d u one d t and d u n d t. So the, this notation or this uh, the, say this equation start means that you are taking the, the derivative first derivative for each component. And then uh, this uh, the equation start in the component wise uh, can be written in this way du1 dt is equal f1. So this notation, this notation means the following u1 of t, un of t, dun dt. This is, this is just notation, fn u1 of t, un of t. So this is just a notation, this is notation of, notation of the, the mathematical notation of this, means that uh, we have a the system, ordinary differential equation of first order, because we have the first, the first derivative of the equation, where f1 and fn is the given factor. And that means that, uh, for example, if, if, if you look the equation to this, the, our equation here, f1, so here the u1 will be s. You see we have the du1 dt, right? So the u1, in, in for this equation, in terms of this, we have u1 is x and u2 is e1. Now we have this is two. So in in terms of this notation, in terms of this notation, the this equation is the following: u1 is s, u2, so n is equal to for this equation n is equal to u1 is s, u2 is e1, and f1, f1 uh, s and e1 will be this. Right hand side, you see that f f1 this this function is this, and uh, du two dt uh, n is equal to n is equal to here to the u of dt u two was e1 d e1 dt it will be this f two. Then here the e1 u1 will be u two will be e1 because as I said the uh, this equation. This system, in terms of this notation, means that here we here we have n n is equal to in terms of this here n is equal to u1 is s and u2 is e1. Right. So that this is the uh, so if I am looking at this equation, this equation consists of two components. And then if I'm looking this, then du1 dt, that means you, if u1 is s, the s dt, and then uh, n is equal to, then u2 is e1, u2, du2, the n is equal to du2 dt, that means de1 dt, is equal f2, f2 is this. So then our equation, so this is a general notation, uh, general notation of this equation. So this now, uh, I would like to show you why this the two time two system is much more important and then we are really very lucky to deal with this uh, this kind of the equation indeed uh, because uh, now uh, the, the the topics will be uh, topics uh, today to be stability 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 so now i will start with the general uh, general notation a general definition, and then later we will uh, do the, the complex starting. So then uh, assume uh, that we have uh, this uh, our equation, 
Now, uh, the, the n time, uh, n dimensional, I assume we have the n dimensional, n dimensional, n dimensional, n dimensional ODE system, ODE system. And now I will define, uh, define for you. I will define for you the 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 the, the physics. I will give you the definition of steady state, and I will give you this is the I will give you mostly for uh, those people that are not uh, studied in the mathematical faculty, or for the uh, the graduate students, and uh, those are not familiar with the concept of the dynamical system. So uh, again, uh, so we are considering. The, uh, the n time n systems, the general, so I'm giving the general, and then, uh, then you will see that why uh, this is the two time, two dimensional system, it's, it's good, and then uh, how we will be very lucky uh, if we uh, can reduce higher dimensional system in, in the n time dynamic force with the four dimensional system to the two. So now, uh, now uh, definition, so definition, definition. So we we will say that we will say that the the vector. Uh, let's just say the Q, the vector Q, which is Q1, Qn. We are speaking the in general system n time n. The, the, vector, the vector, this is a vector because it consists of the n component, is a steady state, steady state, or in, 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 in using the physics terminology, is equilibria, or some people say in the equilibria, equilibria, if, if, Eigenvalues and eigenvalues, eigenvalues of the following matrix. So this is the so we are dealing with the process. Given process. Given process is the in general nonlinear uh, differential or nonlinear ODEs consisting of n components, the one day, the one. So and then so this is, and then we are uh, we are saying that the 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 the, the, the vector is uh, the vector is a steady state, or the vector Q is a steady state if at this vector at this vector f one Q one Q n. If you put this vector to the right hand side, this will be zero. So, if you are dealing with the process, if you are dealing with uh, the, uh, the the ODS system, that means that the function f1 given and then. Uh, this uh, this system is given that if the the process is given or the process or the equation is given, that means that we know that the uh, the, the the expression of right hand side. And now, if uh, uh, what is the F one for this equation for the for the other enzyme dynamics? For the other enzyme dynamics, F one is this, and F two uh, F two is this. So right hand side, we have a, a two, two, two dimensional two system. <coughs> so this is, as I say, in our cases, here, here, uh, if, you, if we are looking like that, U1 is S, U2 is E1, in this context. And then, now, uh, we are saying that the given vector, given vector is a steady state, if the right hand side, at this value, if you if you put this vector, this value, 
to the, the right hand side, they must be zero. That this is called the, the equilibrium. For example, if you have the very simple, uh, the, in our case, in the Craig Pribitor model, uh, do you remember it was dn of dt is equal, uh, it was a of n minus b n of p and dp of dt, so it will be minus c of p plus d n p. You, you had a this in your midterm exams. And then uh, here, uh, for this, uh, in this term, so here, u1, here u1 in terms, in terms of this. u1 is n, u2 is p. So we have a two, uh, two component system. And then f, this will be f1, np, because f1, u1, u2, u1 is n, u2 is p, therefore the right hand side will be f1, np. This will be f2, np. Now uh, we are saying that this uh, given vector is in the steady state if uh, then, uh, uh, this obey this equation. So the right hand side at this value must be zero. So this is the definition of um, uh, definition of this equilibrium. Now, for this simple uh, the predetermined model, I would like to explain for you uh, what is the uh, what will be uh, uh, equilibrium. Then, uh, to this end, let's just consider. Let's just consider. The F1, Q1, Q2, it must be zero. So let's just compute this, uh, this quantity for this concrete case. And, and then for these cases, uh, you can, uh, so I am cleaning the board, then you can just compute it yourself. Now, uh, so. So then uh, that means, so the, the, we have to take the, the, the vector, that, that, that means we have to put this right hand uh, zero. So A, uh, now uh, if we have to wait a little bit, so it will be uh, at the right. So then we have to put, uh, uh, we have to put this, this, uh, this uh, right hand side to the zero, and uh, the, this will be F1 and F2. If you put this is equal to zero, then if you compute in, uh, this, then uh, the, 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 the F1 and uh, F1 and P can be written like this: A minus BP. Do you see the blackboard? Yes, we can have it or uh, But then, now I have to write this the right hand side because I am saying I would like to find it if you if you read that. Means Right hand side, I have to put zero. If I put the first equation right hand side and then taking the end to the bracket, then I will obtain n, uh, this equal to zero because I am just taking n outside of the bracket. So it will be n time a minus b is equal. Here I can put the b in uh, minus c plus dn is equal to zero. So the, the equation could have several equilibria. And then now if you look at this equation, so that this system of the, uh, this is the already uh, uh, algebraic, you see, we started, we, we started to say for the uh, ODE system, we started with ODE system. Now we are defining some object which can be uh, uh, easy in contrast to the ODE. We are just uh, trying to find the right hand side, right hand side. This is the first order. Usually in mathematics, the left hand side, the, first, the derivative, this is the first order. And the right hand side, the same is zero order. Instead of dealing with the first order, we are considering zero order. That means right hand side is zero. If this, uh, if you put for our pre predatory model, the wolf and the rabbit, 
Remember, M was a rabbit, and P was a wolf. And then for this, we have a this equation. And then if you look at this, then you will find the from first equation, we have the N is equal to zero. And uh, from here, B is equal A comma A over B. So this is the first equilibrium. Because the, and the second will be so the P is equal to zero and N is equal N is equal to B. That uh, so you, you find so the, the first equilibrium because equilibrium is at this point Q1 and Q2. In our case, Q1 is P, Q2 is N. Then for this value, we obtain N is equal to zero, P is equal to zero. This is the one equilibrium. So because equilibrium is a pair in, in the for two dimensional case, it's a pair. That means we have the equilibrium zero, zero. Because we, we look this equation, right hand side is zero. If one right hand is zero, leads to this. No problem, man. From this equation corresponding NP. Ah. And then uh, the, this means N is equal to zero. And the first equation leads to that. Second equation leads to that. Now you have to take a pair. So this will be one equilibrium. And this will be the other equilibrium. And uh, then having this equilibrium at this point, so the or this steady state, we can define the stability. Stability of the stability of steady state. So this is a very crucial concept, uh, uh, not in mathematics. This is a very important uh, uh, object for, uh, for I would say, for. Uh, uh, Okay, so then, uh, 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 so this is the uh, uh, very important uh, object. So that, so the first of all, if you have a this equation like this, so all these system general, this is n, this is n times n. You have the n could be two, n could be even one, n could be thousand, n could be million. This everything depends on uh, the of your process. In, in our enzyme dynamics, it was four. For the pre predatory model, it was two, right? The N of the T and the T of the T. For biofilm uh, system, it was also two. We have uh, the, the bacterial biofilms uh, and the substrate, and the bacterial biomass and substrate. That's so why it was um, such a kind of uh, thing. Depending on the process, we will have uh, the uh, the corresponding bodies or corresponding partial differential equation. Now, for a, in your level, I am speaking only on homogeneous uh, populations. That means we are dealing with ODEs. And then this, uh, for example, if the body is given, uh, there is a very crucial concept, uh, the equilibria or quasi state, uh, steady state. That means if you have an equation, you are taking the, uh, you are putting the right and left side is zero. And then you are finding the <coughs> solution of the right hand side. This is called the uh, steady state. If for P, for the pre predator model, like the rabbits and wolf, where n is a rabbit, a P is a wolf, then if you uh, this, is, this obey to this equation. But if you would like to find the equilibrium, you have to take this guy is zero, right hand side, and the, this right hand side for this is called zero. That which is uh, leads to the this equation, and then the product is zero. That means uh, each of them, in, in general case, must be zero. So then n is it must be zero. From first equation we obtain n is zero. P is a over b. From the second equation we obtain p is zero. N is c over d. That means for pre predatory model we have uh, two equilibria, zero and zero. This is one equilibrium. One is the one with uh, steady states. So let me just be known by 
Q over Q uh, because this is a vector. And we choose the double star. So this is n and p. And we are writing the vector which will be n and p. So then it will be the n from the first, from the n c over d, and zero. No, no, c over d. Yeah. So we have a two to equilibrium for uh, for uh, the plate repeater model. And uh, for uh, for the enzyme dynamics, we should have four. But as I said, that we, in order to study stability, uh, it's enough for the four dimension due to reduction, we have to start at two. Now, uh, the, uh, now uh, we, if you have a, in general form, the uh, stability, uh, if you have the general form, the ODE is, you can be able to define what is the, yeah, what is uh, a, the, the concept of equilibrium. That means you have an equation, you have a process, you write corresponding ODEs, uh, this will appear in your, are you hearing me? I have a told you. In the exam, it will be the following. I will write similar to this, the chemical reaction. I will ask you to uh, write corresponding PDEs yeah, no, I'm sorry. Corresponding to this, and to find the equilibrium, Zurgo. that means you have to put the uh, right hand zero to solve this. That in this simple case, you can find. And then, uh, so for, uh, and then to study their stability. Now I am giving the, the definition, and I guess for for today, because we are on the eve of the uh, Christmas, uh, I'm sorry, on the eve of New Year. And then we have to uh, just uh, finish today. I, uh, I would like to take uh, uh, more time from you on the eve of New Year. And, okay, so now, now the definition definition of the, the stability. Uh, we will speak the, the definition uh, of stability. Uh, we are speaking uh, on only on uh, on a, uh, on equilibrium, and uh, what I am now speaking, uh, it will call. We have now the, so that this is a very crucial. You see that I special choose in this case. So we have n time n system, n time n system. So n will be one, two, hundred, thousand million depending on the what kind of uh, species you are considering. In, in our, if you are dealing with the brain, it will be uh, the, the billion type of the neuron, and then it will be n will be billion. And then if you are dealing with the enzyme, then the n will be four. So such a kind of thing. So then uh, you have a reaction, you will write the corresponding ODEs system, and then um, the, you will find the equilibrium you see, if you have the ODEs, you will take the right hand side to zero. You will find the uh, you will find the solution of this uh, linear. Sometimes it will be non-linear algebraic equation. In a, in here, it will be easier. You can just uh, due to this uh, the model the rabbits and board, You have the, such a kind of equation, and you can just easily solve putting the right hand side in zero find uh, this, this kind of equilibrium. Now, in general, in general, so that if you have n time and n system, you, uh, you are taking equilibrium. So this is given. You are, now I'm speaking on this stability. So, sometimes it's called a linearized stability. I will explain you uh, uh, in, in the next lectures why this uh, the people but we will see also today uh, why this is saying the linear stability because there is the linear and non-linear stability we will start with linear stability today which is also a very crucial uh, object and then uh, so so linear stability the, when you are speaking linear stability you are speaking all always always on equilibrium so if you have, you have if, if you heard the linear stability, that means 
you have a, some steady state, and then this given, and you find in the Q1, Q2, taking the, you find the, well, the steady state. As I say, the steady state could be 1,000, could be 20, could be 100 million, depending on your equation. Because if you have the, your audience, you are considering right hand side is zero. If you have the thousand equation, you will have a thousand equation for statistic. In general, you will have a thousand equilibrium. So, all right. So then uh, you have the uh, thousand algebraic equation. That means the solution will be thousand parameters. And in our case, we have a, a two dimensional system. So we have a two equation and two equation uh, could have not only have the unique solution, you have an algebraic equation, n and p, two, and then as you see that this equation in general has a two solution. But it could be one, depending on the coefficient, and it could be, but it could not be more than two, because you are considering two time, uh, two, two dimensional system. The solution maximum should have the two components. Good. Now, so that this, uh, this, uh, this equation is given, star 2 is given, this I will denote by star 3. So this is the for equilibrium. Uh, we say, we say that, so now this was the definition, definition. We say that the, the given steady states, so some, when I'm saying steady states or equilibrium, they have the identical meaning. So the given instead the state Q, Q1, Qn, we say that we say that the given steady state, that means the solution of the equation star three, the right hand side is zero. This is given. We are considering the steady state. The final steady state, it could be one, it could be uh, two are not, uh, if you have an n, it could be maximum n, because you have the n equation. So then, uh, for a given, in the days, for the days, the given steady state is stable, is stable, if, uh, if, uh, now, the Jacobian, this, the, the, this is the mathematical terminology, but the, if the, the following uh, n times n matrices, so this equation is given, we find in the Q1, we find the equilibrium, and we are taking the one of them and considering the following matrix, DF1, DFQ1, let me just add more because F1 be U1. So F1 depends U1, you You are taking the F1 to the first variable and taking the, the point at the point D. And the same you are taking the F1, the Q, and the F1 to UN. So this function is given, you find the equilibrium, and now you are considering the following n time n matrix. So you are taking f1 first, which depends n variables. You are taking the f1 the derivative with respect to u1, and putting, uh, uh, the, after taking the derivative, putting the, instead of point u1 to n, this is a given equilibrium. And then f1, f1 depends the un, you are taking the u, un. And also putting there Q1, Qn. And uh, the same way, since you have the n variable, so that means for here you will have n uh, row. Uh, so because it, you are taking F1, U1, and the F1, Qn. And then we are taking, because we have the, uh, the n, n component, the fn, 
the u1 again putting the q1 after taking derivative after taking derivative you are you are taking the f the n this n and uh, it will be a little bit dry Let, let me just wait a little bit. So that you, you will take derivative now of fn the u1, putting the after the taking derivative, you will put the, the point of equilibrium which you found. And then so the f1 the u n and the q1 okay. so the the system is given because you have a reaction system is given. For this system, you find you are putting the right hand side is zero, like you did for the um, the, uh, the predator predator model. We find the two, but this is in general n. We will find n uh, q q one q n, and that this this is this function that are given the fun here n is in 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 for the in a pre predatory model for uh, rackets and walk model, f1 and p is this, uh, f2 this. And if we will take this, then please uh, do uh, uh, yourself. So for pre predatory model, uh, of course, I will give you in the next lecture how it looks like. Uh, please do it itself if you will. Then, then you can just check because I will, uh, I will do for you this, all of this. And then, so uh, if, if, we, if we have a system for this system, we we find equilibria. It could be several equilibria in our two systems. It could be maximum two. If you have a three or four, it might be four equilibria. And then you are considering the following matrix because this function is the R given, F1 and F1 are given. You are taking the derivative. You are taking the derivative. And then uh, you, will, you will obtain, if you are taking the here, so you will have, uh, if you will take the first, the f1, the n, it will be a minus bp. So derivative f1 with respect to n, it will be a minus bp. And derivative with the f1 with respect to p, it will be, this is zero because it doesn't depend on, and it will be bn. So then you can easily find that. And then you have to put instead of this expression, this if you are considering equilibria as state stability of this, this value, if you are in the, if you are in the stability of this uh, non-zero non equilibrium, then you have to put this. And then in general, you are you have a, this for this, you find uh, you are looking the right hand at zero, you are solving this equation, you obtain some value. Which is called the steady state, and then if you, then if I am asking the stability of them, you are considering for, for a given right at such, such a kind of n time of matrix, n time of n matrix. They will have n column and n row because the f1, the u1, the f1, the n, you have the n, and then the, from the f1, the u1, the fn, he is also n. Here n, and here n, this is the matrix. And then we will say that given it, because we are computing this matrix on, on these values. And the podium, you see, this value. we will say that so given steady state is stable if, 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 all eigenvalues, all eigenvalues, this negative. Are you, are you hearing me? Yes, Ojam, we can hear you, sir. Uh, do we have break today? Toilet uh, get make theorem. Yeah, so then I am finishing. So, okay. Stability means that all eigenvalues of this matrix are Or if you have the complex eigenvalues, then a real part of the must be named. So this is the definition of stability. And then, and now I guess you now, the, uh, so today is the, we have the only eve of the 
New Year. I wish you, I have to stop here. I wish you everybody a uh, happy New Year and uh, the, all the best. And we will see each other uh, on the next Thursday. Okay? Take care. Okay, Hojan, thank you. Thank you. Happy New Year, Hojan. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Bye bye. Bye bye. Hojan. Yeah, yeah, I am hearing you. This is Esmanol. How are you? Very good, Esmanol. Very good. So I am, I am uh, waiting from you the cake, huh? Because uh, I, I, I guess we have to already till the uh, at least in January we have to submit this paper. Actually, we have done it, but uh, I just, um, I just correct something. I just um, cancel some figures and then I will uh, let you know. Yes, yeah, you can just let me know, and then uh, if you will be uh, after New Year's uh, in touch, if you will uh, come. So you are in Istanbul or you are living in other city? Uh, another city, Jam. Uh -huh, okay. So then uh, in this case, uh, what we can do, so how long does it take from your city to uh, Istanbul? Two hours. <laughs> Oh, no, no. It, it, it's, uh, uh, then then uh, we can uh, do everything via Zoom as we did uh, in the, in the past, and uh, then uh, please prepare uh, uh, the, this the, this paper. And uh, so the the result is um, done, but uh, it it must be written quite well. And we have to submit this. So I will help okay. you. I will help you to publish that. This I like it uh, result and then, but it it must be done immediately. So it not just put them to the uh, and after three or four months, the result is written. It must be written and published. Yes, Ajam. Thank you. No, take care. Bye bye. Okay. And take care. Bye bye. Miss Mutlu also. Happy yes, New Ajam. Year, Ajam, with good health. Yeah. Same. Same to you, Mohammed. Take care. Bye bye. Bye-bye.